going on? I'm Allison. For today's video, we're doing a quick 15 minute core workout. If you haven't done it yet, make sure to tap that subscribe button and the bell to stay notified of the latest fitness videos released every Mondays and Thursdays. For this routine, all you need is a mat and an optional dumbbell. This is the perfect workout to do at the end of a cardio session, so make sure to give it a save. Follow along with my cues and let's get started. Go ahead and lie down on your back on your mat. Let's do two warm-up exercises before we begin. Starting off, have your feet flat, knees bent, and looking up at your ceiling. We're gonna practice on engaging the transverse abs. Take a deep breath, inhale through the nose, let the belly expand, and then exhale through the mouth, pull the belly button to spine, and think about pressing that tailbone a little bit closer to your mat. Release, do it again, inhale, exhale, engage. Now you wanna hear your breath on the exhale. Keep going, inhale. Exhale out, and you're feeling those innermost abdominals, those transverse abs working. Inhale, breathe. Exhale, pull in. Do that three more times right here. Inhale, exhale, pull in. Really engage, one more here. Inhale, and then exhale. So when we do the abdominal movements, make sure to engage the core before you start the exercise. Okay, second move, legs are at tabletop. Again, engage the core like we just did. Toes are pointed, alternate, toe taps down on the mat. Inhale, exhale. Do a quick check and make sure that there's no arch in that lower back or space. If there is, engage the core a little bit more, or if you need to, raise those legs a little bit higher. We're doing this for about 15 more seconds. Inhale, exhale up. Now the weight is optional um, for the certain exercises that we're using them, so if you're not feeling it, go ahead and just do body weight movements only. In five, Four, three, two, and one. Good, you can hug the knees to chest, give it a little stretch. Okay, let's go ahead and start. Place those feet down, hands like behind the head, look up at the ceiling. We're gonna begin with a basic crunch and then build up from there. So engage that core, hands are light behind, elbows back. Ready, here we go. Crunch and down. Exhale, inhale. And you're lifting just high enough to the shoulder blades are right off that mat. Lift and down, really important. Exhale on the lift, inhale down. Eight more, squeeze, eight. Good, seven, there's six. Keep it going. Four more here, then a change in four. We're gonna incorporate an eight count pulse at the end. Are right, you ready? And pulse it up double time, squeeze and pulse. Eight, shoulder blades lifted. Six, five, here's four. Three singles, upper body only. Lift this up. Bring those legs together so the knees are touching. We're gonna focus on some obliques. Drop the knees over to the right side, keep crunching up and down. Notice I'm not stopping right now, I'm keeping it a continuous flow with the crunch. Four more, stay here. Feeling it on those sides. Here's three, there's two. Now we're gonna add a rotation. Same shoulder, same knee. Rotate over and down. Take it at your own pace if my speed is too fast. Remember, this is your workout. In four, three, there's two, now to the same side, pulse it over double time. Keep the elbow back. Six, five, here's four, three, back to singles. Remember, no break, but if you need to take one, take it. Extend the outside leg up. We're gonna drive that knee in and out towards the shoulder. Try it here. Eight, press through the heel. Seven, good, six, stay with it. Four more, squeeze, four, three, in two, center this crunch, nice and easy, drop that leg, center the knees up, reset, coming up, same thing, other side. Keep crunching, drop the knees to the left, four, eight. Good, lift and down. Keep engaging, keep breathing. Four more, in four, then we're gonna add that rotation, same shoulder, same knee. Ready? Keep the legs down, rotate. Over and down. Seven, you've got it. Six, four more. Here's four. All right, coming up, we have that pulse. In two, let's do it. Pulse it over, double time, squeeze, eight. Stay there. It's small. Four, three, single twist every time. Nice and easy, extend that leg up to the ceiling. All right, we're gonna drive that knee in. Ready? Eight of these, let's go. Exhale, in, press through the heel. Exhale, inhale. 
you're doing great. Stay there. Almost done with this first series. Two more. All right, center this crunch up, drop that leg, center the knees. You can put that space in between the legs. In two. All right, you get a quick little break right here. Take those feet into a butterfly position. Unicorn for the um, unicorn horn for the upper body. Fingers are pointed, arms up overhead, abs are tight. Crunch it right here. Exhale, lift and then down. I'm taking these a little bit slower. By changing this body position, we're targeting a little bit more lower in the abdominals, in those rectus abs. <sighs> Exhale, inhale. Good. All right, coming up, I'm gonna add a little rotation. In four, three. All right, if you like to, you can watch. Stay centered. On my next one, I'm gonna take it over to the right, center down, over to the left, right here. If you're not feeling these, stay in the middle. Good, there's eight, Whew. seven, keep it up, six, we're coming up a little higher with these, four more, in four, you've got it, three, two, and finish in the center, four of them, like you started with, four, three, two, and one, relax the head, hug those knees in. Okay, for the next move, this is where your option with the weight comes in. So if you like to, roll it up and then grab your weight. Once you have your weight, lie back down on your mat. We're gonna do a double leg crunch. Remember, weight is optional. Start with those knees tucked in. Arms are gonna come back. We're gonna inhale, extend those legs. Exhale, crunch in like you're a tight ball. Inhale, reach back. Exhale. Now, if you're not using the weight, arms extended, we're pulling in and then out. Okay, we'll do this one for time. So we'll say about 30 seconds. When you're ready in five, four, three, two, and one. Big exhale, crunch in, extend. Now, anytime that both legs are extending out, the back naturally wants to arch. So if it is, engage the core a little more. If that's not working, raise your legs a little bit higher and your back should nat naturally flatten a little more. Make it strong and powerful, really depending on the size weight that you have, is gonna determine how hard this exercise is. It's still challenging even without the weight, so don't get me wrong there. Come on, 10 seconds. Make it big. Inhale, exhale. Breathe, five, four, three. Can you give me one more? Yes, and relax. Hang on to that weight if you have it. All right, next move we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and take one foot staying down, other leg extends, lift up towards the shin, inhale, come back, exhale, lift up. We're gonna stay on the same side for 10. So just like before, not feeling the weight, you're gonna do the same movement without it. Okay, when you're ready, lift the shoulder blades up. Here we go. Inhale, stretch, exhale, come up, 10. Whew. Nine, good, eight, seven breathe halfway there stay with it four three it's gonna be a really short break in between sides when we switch set that foot down take a breath other leg up lift go ten nine if you need a longer break take it eight get a good stretch how are we might even be coming up a little bit <laughs> Six, you got it, five more. Inhale, exhale. Who said you can't break a sweat doing abs? <laughs> Four, you've got it. Last three, come on. Two more, you've got it. Whew, one more right here. And breathe, good. Take, a weight, take that weight down, hug the knees in. Inhale, exhale. And then rock it up. All right, pause this video, grab a drink, and I'll meet you back here. Go ahead and take it down on your side. It doesn't matter which side you start with. Elbow down, inside hip, lifted. Okay, if you have the weight, it's on your outside hand. Abs are tight. We're gonna exhale, crunch in, and then inhale, reach out. If you don't have the weight, arms extended, leg is long, crunch in, and then out. We're working those obliques. We're gonna do 10 of these. 
So when you're ready, get in position, making sure your elbow is just under the shoulder. Lift the hip, engage the core, arms up. Here we go. Exhale, inhale, reach for 10. Tummy's tight. Eight, yes, seven. You definitely wanna have a little bit lighter weight. Five, good work. Four more. Four, three, two. Now, if you have the weight, we're gonna go ahead and place it down for a moment. All right, come right back up. Arm and leg strong. We're gonna pulse up and down right here. Four, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew, carefully bring it down. All right, let's move on to the other side. Rotate over. If you use the weight the first time, use it this time. If you didn't, don't worry about it. Getting back in that side plank position, elbow under the shoulder, pop the hip up, engage the core, grab your weight. When you're ready, 10 crunches, go. 10, nine, Ooh, get a little extra shoulder workout here as well. <laughs> Seven, six, come on, halfway. Breathe, five, four, you've got it. Three, two, one more. Take a second, drop the hip, set the weight down. All right, 10 pulses, arms and legs straight. Lift up, here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax. Whew, good job. Okay, we're gonna flip it over, prone position. Now we're gonna take that weight and we're gonna do some dumbbell passes. Now for these passes, I have the weight horizontal, and if you're not using the weight, you're gonna add a opposite, opposite hand, opposite toe reach. And I'll show you that version as well. Okay, weight version first. Plank passes, engage the core, abs in, grab the weight, reach it towards the opposite toe, come back center, reach with the other hand, straight back, come up, other way, and center, reach straight back. If you're not doing the weight, you're here. Alternating every time. You can also modify this and be on your knees instead. Okay, we're gonna do this one for time. One set for 45 seconds. I'll give you five seconds to get ready. In three, two, one, pass it out. Now, the farther that you can reach, the more you're gonna have to work. Tummy's tight, shifting the weight forward and back. Careful with that weight. Whew. Breathe. Remember, challenge yourself here. This is your workout. We're not doing this for very long, and it's only one set. Very nice. Come on, keep it up. Whew. You have 15 seconds left, that's it. Finish strong. You're almost done with this routine. Whew. Last eight. Good. All right, we're finishing in that high plank position and doing alternating shoulder taps in three, two, one. Put the weight to the side, tap out, tap out. Now, if you need to, drop the knees, do the same movement. We have 10, nine, eight, seven, six, I know, Whew. four, three, come on, two more. And if you're on your toes, drop the knees. Ah, oh, sink back for a child's pose. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale, let it out. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Good, come on up to a seated position. That's it, you did great. One hand down, one arm up and over. Short and sweet. This is also the perfect routine to add at the end of your regular workout. If you want a little extra abs, go ahead, switch sides. If you want a second set in, rewind it and get a second round in. Good job. Whew. Center up, interlock behind, open up that chest, deep breath, inhale. Exhale, let it out. Release, arms in front and round the upper back. Inhale, reach up and let it out. My name is Allison. Thank you so much for working out with me and I look forward to seeing you next time. Great job at completing this workout. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also check out my Instagram at AllieFitATL for more daily workouts.